Are you applying to the NYU Dental School? Do you know how to kind of do your research to find their best resources, vibe, school culture, if you're a good fit? Stick around, I'm gonna share some intel. Thank you for joining me on my channel for the best personal statement and secondaries coaching. Definitely hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss a video. I've coached a few pre-dents applying to NYU and getting in successfully, and we'll see the cycle, but usually they have the, why do you want to attend NYU Dental? And so for that secondary and the diversity obstacles ones, definitely check out my template and guide in the description below. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. I'm a university writing faculty and I coach students on their personal statements and secondaries. So let's get started. Step one is to familiarize yourself with the mission. So if you're writing a why us for NYU, but really, Honestly, everyone should do this for every school because you would really learn a ton about their vibe and kind of if you are a good fit, but if they are a good fit for you. So step one is to familiarize yourself with the mission. And the doctor of dental surgery really kind of focuses on a lot of clinical hours, decision making, best practices. So here is some language from their mission statement. The curriculum is to educate healthcare professionals who value health promotion and possess the knowledge and skills to diagnose, manage, and prevent diseases, abnormalities, and other conditions affecting oral health care. And so promotes decision making that is evidence-based and reflects on current knowledge, the integration of biomedical, behavioral, and clinical sciences. And we're gonna see that a lot in the kind of balance between research and community engagement meaning. And so we'll see kind of like how they bridge those two service and research, which is important to NYU. There's also an option to do a DDS MBA or DDS public health certificate. So that's interesting too, if you wanna kind of expand a little bit your intellectual breadth. Step two, are they the right fit for you? NYU is a very dense urban campus, and I put it in quotes, right? Because although there is a feel when you go to kind of NYU and you're kind of immersed in the different buildings, it's not the typical campus where you kind of like walk and you're walled off, right? So it's definitely kind of a living, breathing part of the city. It is very dense, it's very fast, and it's big. It's the largest dental school, dental program in the nation, I believe, with about 300 students per class. And so in kind of year three, there is an option, there's an opportunity for international students to join the program, international students who want to um, practice in the US. Having said that, NYU, you know, having talked to, to former students, do a great job, NYU does a great job of kind of like breaking you guys up into smaller cohorts. And so then there's a sense of like a more collective, intimate learning setting for small groups. And then you have this kind of backing of an incredible alumni network and just a, a super large class. But do you get lost in the shuffle, right? So if you're more of an introvert, if you want more personalized training, this may not be the program for you. So you kind of want to weigh those options as to how you learn best, your personality, and then kind of whether or not this program is tailoring to your strengths. So I wanted to read this. This is kind of the cohort system. So each cohort has a student success network. It's basically an academic advisor, a faculty mentor, a peer um, facilitator, and a group practice director. So you have this kind of peer tutor, peer mentor, a mentorship, and you have a faculty guiding kind of your small cohort. And then you kind of can open up and you have this much larger class as well. So you have the balance of both. One big positive of such a large class is the diversity in the class itself and the diversity in the demographic that you will care for as an NYU student, right? So it really will prepare you for any corner of the, the country that you will practice in. So in that sense, it's a strong draw for many students. Step three is the incredible robust course offering and just academic experience that you have. At NYU, they really dial up the clinical experiences. So students are kind of, sometimes it could be a steep learning curve, but they are really, really practicing hands-on real world situations and in depth. So that's excellent. And I'll show you kind of a little bit of the course offering here. For research, there is an incredible kind of array of vast resources and experiences that you can kind of delve into and participate. So there's a Bluestone Center. It's basically, it has eight operatories with a digital radiography. There is phase one to phase four medical and dental clinical trials. And then there's kind of working to connect the research to service, the Family Translational Research Group. 
and that studies the mechanisms through which individual, couple, and family dysfunction cause significant public health degradation. So this kind of connection between research and community engagement. There is service that is incredibly valuable to consider. There are two to four years student kind of government and there's a over 40 student clubs for dental specialties and a dental education program for the community that you can participate in smiling faces going places it's like a dental mobile dental van and then there's a global reach um, community link that i'll link below as well so you have incredible education vast uh, resources for research and opportunities for community engagement step four is to consider cost NYU is pricey. I attended NYU for my master's, but not in dentistry. And, and ouch, yeah, it, it hurts as a private institution. I will kind of show you on the screen a little bit of that info, that tuition. Also, I will kind of for bonus and for some serious inspiration of a student alumni, just kind of so impressive who your network and your peers um, and colleagues would be. I will also link their kind of alumni profiles and you can see where everyone is coming from, what their passions within dentistry are, how they are kind of realizing their dreams. And it's just great inspiration, uh, whether you apply or attend um, NYU or another dental program. If you are applying to NYU or other programs that ask you why they're a program, make sure you do the research. Make sure you start looking at their mission statement, the education, research, community engagement opportunities. What are the programs? Name the programs that you can kind of participate in. Really show them that you did your homework, but then also add your personalized kind of dimension. So you show that you've done the, the kind of intellectual work to show them that you got, that you are a good fit. Talk to alumni. LinkedIn is great for that, right? Connect with them, ask them questions, mention in your why and why you or why you know, another school's dental program. So really show them that you are kind of truly thinking beyond brand here and you can see yourself living and learning at that institution for your program. Thank you for watching. Click like if you like this video, please. And make sure you check out the secondaries template. Link in this is in the description below. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.